Hey Cancer, it's your honest homegirl, Keisha Anique, and this is your homegirl horoscope. Now listen here, Cancer, I've been getting all types of freaky energy from you guys over here, all right? For the last couple of days, there's been some nasty, freaky, wet, spicy, loving this going on in the bedroom and all types of strip poles and dancing because the song that's playing right now is morning by tiana taylor and kalani now when i hear that song i just think of that girl from p valley and how she was doing her dance okay for a couple what's going on cancer what y'all guys got going on let I want to know. I want to be nosy, okay? Because it seems a little spicy, okay? You guys is doing some thing things, okay? Let's find out what Cancer is doing. Cancer, you could be dealing with a Capricorn Taurus or a Virgo male. Or this is, uh, if that's not his sign, this man is very stable. This man is very secure within himself. This man may have his own uh, business. Or he um, is some type of authority in some type of way. Some type of, he got money, okay? He knows how to make some money. He is provider, protector type of energy here. Or this is you. Some of you haven't learned a spiritual lesson with this person yet. Okay? You can't move forward from this individual until you learn something from them. There's something you need to learn from this person. Um, it may be how you lack, if you lack discipline and structure in your life, this person is coming into your life to teach you how to have more discipline and structure. You've been looking uh, for love, but I feel like this person may not be as emotionally intelligent as you are. And it's like, there's some things that you want to attract into your world, but you lack the discipline and the structure and this person is in your life to teach you discipline and structure to stand on your word and it's like whatever it is that you're trying you're looking for you'll be able to find it once you learn the lesson with this person here okay maybe you have to stand on your word when it comes to your non-negotiables two three four on my time as i say that when it comes to dating you don't want someone that's this way you don't want someone that doesn't you know reflect what you're doing in life you like you have non-negotiables but you don't stand on those non-negotiables due to the lack of structure and discipline in your life but there's this authority type figure that's in your life right now that you're you have not learned the lesson yet with them to attract what it is which is true love and the things that you love and the things that you may want okay to move forward with life I don't, um, it's like this person is coming to teach you a spiritual lesson that you're unaware of, but you're looking at, at this person as love. I tell people all the time, sometimes spirit brings people in our, tell, in, in our lives as soulmates, not to be in a relationship with them, but for them to teach you things and for you to teach them things. And that's just, it. it's a platonic relationship, okay, for some of you guys. I feel like for some of you, whoever you're dealing with, you communicate with them often or you would like to. This person is familiar. This is why this person may be a soulmate of yours. A soulmate from a, pa a previous past connection in a past life. But this lifetime, you guys are supposed to learn the lesson. But I feel like you're not learning the lesson with this person because you're looking at this as a love situation. For some of you, you could be dealing with a Gemini, communicating with a Gemini, or looking for love. Like, for some of like you are looking for an emotional connection. See, this person thinks logically. You are thinking emotionally. You're thinking about love. You're thinking about talking. You're thinking about family. You're thinking about all these things, you know, especially if you're a female. You know, these are the things that you're thinking about. But this person here, what's on their mind is like materialistic uh, gains. Uh, tangible items, you know, land, cars, clothes, business, money. Like I said, they're more in their head more than they are spiritually. This person may not even be as spiritual as you. Like you may be teaching this person like, hey, you know, sometimes what you're searching for, you just 
you gotta attract it like so he may be teaching you structure and discipline you may be teaching him manifestation and create creative stuff okay i do feel like you have a female ancestor on the other side who already knows who you are going to marry and have children with but there's like a cycle here that you have to get yourself out of before you can have it there's like a spiritual lesson that needs to be learned when it comes to some type of like vices because i'm getting the energy of it's like being stable within self learning how to control your vices learning to you know not get caught up in tangible things and what your heart desires especially when you're lacking the things that you know you need to be doing for some of you, there's a Capricorn that is around that is probably coming back because of this Mercury retrograde, but it's an energy of you like being tested and standing on your square. You and to you it's like it's like you get some type of information, you obtain some type of knowledge. You go out in the world, you know, just looking and doing and manifesting and communicating with your family, your friends, and it's like, boom, boomerang comes around, a shift happens, Mercury retrogrades here, you're being tested with vices, with love, with a person, with something like, it's kind of like the devil knows exactly what it is that you want and the devil will bring it to you but it's in the form of something that you don't need to get yourself caught up in a cycle with anymore and it's like you're being tested to see if you're stupid again and if you pass the test though and you learn to have the discipline and the structure and standing on your square about things and having these morals and these boundaries you'll be blessed with what it is that you truly want but if not it's like you're going to go through this devilish type cycle with something from the past and you're going to have to relearn this lesson before you can bring balance into your life, before justice can happen. So it's kind of like if this person is already back in your life, learn whatever lesson you need to learn from them so that you can move forward. Okay, whether it's moving forward with this person or without this person, I'm not sure. But there's an energy of you learning something, standing on something, ending something, okay? Due to you having love for self, self-respect. Uh, yeah, whatever is not for you, it's it needs to be eliminated. And it's like you have to stand on it, knowing you, yeah, see, you know what needs to go. You know what needs to go. So let it go. Let's get some homegirl advice for you, Cancer. Yeah, be proud of who you are. Be proud of who you're becoming. And it's like, don't feel bad, okay? Music therapy could be good for you to help you, all right? Get through these tough times and making sure you're loving yourself and standing on what you say. Yeah, let things flow to you. What you're looking for, let it let it come to you. Don't you go to it. Let it flow. Sage. Some of you guys need to sage. And we have meditate and clear the clutter at the bottom of the deck. All right. Yeah. So sage whatever needs to be saged out of your life so you can get what it is that you're looking for, boo.